If you want to find out what MMORPGs that is promising but no definite release date yet. Then, in today's video, I will share with you the upcoming MMOs that might be releasing in the near future. Watch until the end because, who knows? One of which might caught your interest and may want to put it on your wishlist. If you want to find out more of these MMORPGs stick around, and make sure to subscribe to get updates on these games. Leave a like as well if you find this video helpful to help support the channel. Let's kick things first with Light No Fire. We're all quite thrilled about Hello Games' No Man's Sky sequel, especially because this fantastical sandbox seems a lot more like an MMO than we anticipated. Imagine a game where you're not just surviving on some random planet, you're creating a life, exploring, and doing it all with friends from all over the world. That's like no fire for you, it's like mixing RPG depth with the pure freedom of a survival sandbox. The next game is Ashes of Creation. Intrepid Studios' massively multiplayer online game project is full of hopes and dreams, but it is still crawling rather than sprinting in our direction. As of right now, Alpha 2 is scheduled for third quarter of 2024. In the game, players will go into a vast new planet to explore and manage the wilderness against a backdrop of high fantasy. Because of the fundamental node structure in Ashes of Creation, almost the whole universe is created by the decisions and deeds of the players. No two player experiences are ever the same since each server has its own distinct personality and storyline that changes depending on what the player chooses. This, cozy solarpunk Lofsha, an MMO is beginning to increase dev blogs and similar content after raising a hefty $1.2 million through crowdfunding in 2023. Lofsha is a cozy, solarpunk game, where MMO meets farming, crafting, customizing and exploring. You can build your dream home here and grow friendships with both NPCs and other players. You can play solo or team up with friends and make new ones too, the community has a massive players of 400,000 expecting this game to be released. Now it's time for Pantheon, Rise of the Fallen. To be honest, Pantheon's players and supporters had a difficult year. However, there's hope for Visionaris a high fantasy massively multiplayer online role-playing game that Visionary Realms Incorporated is currently developing. It features both new and classic game mechanics. Brad McQuaid, the founder of Visionary Realms and co-creator of EverQuest, served as CCO for Pantheon until his death in November 2019. Chris Perkins, who has been the creative director for Pantheon since 2015, is leading the project's creative vision. As of April 2023, Pantheon is presently undergoing pre-alpha testing. After Warframe, Digital Extremes is under a lot of pressure to deliver another hit game. This fantasy role-playing game is being developed cautiously by the studio, which plans to put it into pre-alpha in late 2023. Soulframe is a fantasy massively multiplayer online game that prioritizes close quarters fighting. It's not quite a spiritual or even a sequel, but you can't hold director Steve Sinclair back for trying something different after managing the same game for 10 years. The game also is expected to have an open world which players can explore. Next is, Quinfall, this Turkish MMO has a lot of lofty expectations, but if it can live up to even 40% of them, the game might be worthwhile. In this game you can experience an entirely new MMORPG where you may take part in distinctive fights and an engrossing story set in the midst of medieval times with dozens of various vocations. Discover the 2016 square kilometers largest MMORPG map in the world. Take your adventure in five different regions, each with a distinct climate of its own. A map that changes to reflect the four distinct seasons, each with its own weather patterns and day-night cycle, awaits you in a living world. While it welcomes comparisons to Minecraft, this game promises to be much more than that with its extensive multiplayer capabilities. Bitcraft allows you to construct your own villages, so forget about the static environments of classic MMORPGs. Transform your town from a tiny village into a major international trading hub. Build a mountain stronghold to guard your precious materials. Bitcraft takes place in a single, enormous, dynamically generated universe, in contrast to games that have different player-hosted sandbox servers. Develop your interest-based abilities, such as those related to farming, fishing, mining, or forestry. Become an expert in your field and establish yourself as a household name. We're excited about this one and eager to see what the alpha test results from next year may hold. Next on our list is, Arcage 2. 
We don't think Soul Games follow-up will be able to salvage the Arc Age franchise given how uncertain its future is, especially as its core design is currently undergoing significant revisions. Arc Age 2 is a fluid open-world action massively multiplayer role-playing game that serves as the follow-up to the critically acclaimed Arc Age, which debuted in Korea in 2013. Arc Age 2, created by XL Games and released by Kakao Games, is a multi-platform game that can be played on PC, Xbox Series S, and PlayStation 5. The current release date for Arc Age 2 is set for some point in 2024. As of yet, Arc Age 2's wage structure is unknown. Ion 2 Although NCSoft hasn't revealed anything about Ion 2 since its initial announcement in 2022, we have been getting subtle hints that the game is being worked on. Due to the success of Ion, a 3D MMORPG, they made a sequel which is Ion 2, which is being developed by Korean gaming studio NCSoft and is scheduled for release in the first half of 2019. The most visually striking scenario in the clip is the challenge boss battle with an army of players. The handheld game may then bring back this gameplay. The character modeling proportions and style in the trailer are closer to those in the final product. Eternal Tombs. In an attempt to be innovative, this diehard MMO lets developers to set off dynamic events that happen while players explore the game environment. It is presently in the polished stage with a 2025 release date in mind, having undergone several testing and a name change along the way. The PC-only MMORPG Eternal Tombs is managed by real employees, known as Tomb Masters. By managing events and altering the environment, Tomb Masters provide a personalized experience for gamers while they travel with hundreds of other people. Eternal Tombs is a fully featured massively multiplayer online role-playing game that boasts an open and persistent world with a unique Tomb Master system. Players can leave their mark on the game by managing their own store, exploring new areas, defeating thousands of different monster types, conducting war operations, defending castles from sieges, crafting unique items, participating in ranked opt-in PvP, or raiding deep into dungeons. Past Fate as it progresses into Alpha, this skill-based open-world massively multiplayer online game has our interest. Maybe next year, we'll get to see and play more from this game, perhaps even in beta? In the open-world mass multiplayer role-playing game Past Fate, the player's freedom is paramount. You are free to travel the vast world with all of its continents and islands. Explore the planet while sailing the perilous seas and assemble your own crew to support you in naval conflict. Employ and train soldiers and mercenaries to defend your kingdom during hostilities. Discover riddles, treasures, and secrets to help you on your way. Learn how to use more powerful abilities to stalk your prey at night or practice becoming the crusader and smiting down your opponents. Box Day. This sandbox MMO appears to be expanding in 2024, having completed a rather large alpha test in December of last year. Medieval mythology-inspired social sandbox massively multiplayer online game. Here, magic is accepted as true, ghosts are real, and myths are true. You get to pick the part you want to play in this massive, open-world playground. Together with thousands of other players, immerse yourself as you explore the area, construct your house, establish your reputation, and create your own tales. Into the Echo. There's a lot of potential for a time-traveling massively multiplayer online game set in an odd setting, but the development team hasn't talked about it much. Until something tells us otherwise, it's still in pre-alpha. Developer Etlock Studios describes Into the Echo as a unique massively multiplayer online role-playing game. While it is still in the early stages of development, signups for their pre-alpha are being accepted on their official website. On Planet Rava, strange things are happening, and you as a player must band together to face the future. Prepare for the voyage into the past to solve the secrets of Planet Rava by honing your craft and polishing your abilities. Whether you decide to pursue a career in fighting, code cracking, or artisan mastery, your contribution to the world's progress is essential, this game has exciting things to play. Last on our list, is Solarpunk. With a respectable amount of funding raised on Kickstart in 2023, this quaint survival MMO saw significant progress toward realization. As of right now, no fighting is scheduled. The survival game Solarpunk takes place in a highly developed environment of floating islands. With your own airship, you can go to far-off islands to build structures, cultivate food, make devices, and socialize with pals. 
To generate energy and automate tasks like resource collection and plant watering, harness the power of sunshine, wind, and water. There you have it guys. The new MMORPGs coming in the far future. We still eagerly anticipate each game to progress so we can experience the developer's promise to be an exciting game for all of the gamer. Let us know your thoughts on this list and which one you would be keeping an eye on. Consider subscribing to get updates about these games and leave a like to support us making this kind of content. Thank you so much again for watching until the end. See you next time.